Hey, what's up everybody? Eduardo here, and today we're talking about coffee brewing methods. Which one is the best brewing method? So whatever method you choose will take you down a different coffee journey, right? Some methods are filtered methods where you use a filter uh, to place on, on top of your device. You pour your coffee in, you pour your water, and it filters through to the bottom. Other methods, uh, such as French press, are immersion methods uh, where the coffee lives in the water and it brews with the water throughout the whole time. Um, so these methods will all provide a different taste and flavor depending on what you're looking for. So with the V60 coffee maker or uh, a standard everyday coffee maker, uh, you'll get a really balanced coffee. Let's say uh, you're drinking Cafe Cubano, it'll come across with all its nuances and uh, be very beautiful and balanced. If we take that same coffee, we put it in the Chemex, what's going to happen is that it's going to filter out some of the oils because of the thicker filter and it's going to give it a really smooth and clean taste. We take that same coffee of Cafe Cubano and we put it in the French press, that French press is going to accent those bold and smoky flavors and you're gonna get a very full bodied cup. And if we use the mocha pot, you're gonna get a very concentrated, almost espresso-like type of taste. Too. So typically, uh, depending on your roast type, you could select any different type of method. I particularly prefer light roast coffees to be pour overs. Uh, but it's all a matter of choice, right? You could literally put a uh, light roast, medium roast, or dark roast in any one of these methods and experience a very, very beautiful cup of coffee. Traditionally, a lot of people like darker roasted coffee in the mocha pot or in the French press, which provide a very heavy body. I think the, the brewing method that's most used around the world is probably just a regular filtered coffee, right? I know that a lot of people enjoy espresso, um, and that's very common in non-growing uh, coffee regions, but either a regular coffee maker or uh, a pour-over-like system is something that is used worldwide. So my favorite brewing method is always gonna be the V60. Um, it's something that I really enjoy um, brewing because it provides a balanced taste to, to all the coffees. My second favorite method is an AeroPress. Uh, I used to not enjoy AeroPress coffees until I found a good recipe to make the coffee, which is super important for any of these methods, is to have a recipe with a certain amount of water and a certain amount of coffee. Um, that's gonna make your coffee taste great when you can repeat those things. If you'd like to learn more about brewing methods and our video tutorials, like and subscribe for more videos. Thank mm -hmm. you.